Hey friends, welcome back to Anna's birthday party. Remember, Bhanu was helping Anna with her party preparations. And Bhanu taught Anna all about HCF. If you haven't watched the video already, go check it out now. Let's see what they are up to today. Bhanu, now help me with the decor problem. I need to decorate this place with daisies and lilies. One bouquet of daisies contains six set of flowers, and one bouquet of lilies contains fifteen set of flowers. What is the least number of bouquet I have to buy to decorate this place nicely? Remember, we shouldn't waste any of these beautiful flowers. Ah, easy. You have to buy thirty bouquet of each. Wow! How did you do that? To find your answer, I simply took an LCM, which is the least common multiple. Oh, interesting. Can you please tell me more about LCM? Yeah, sure. LCM is a method to find the smallest common multiple between any two or more numbers. You can find the LCM using different methods. I'll tell you. Two of the most common methods: the listing method and the division method. Here's how the listing method works. All you have to do is list down the multiples of each number and find the first common multiple between these numbers. Let's list down the multiples of six daisies and. 15 lilies in our case the first common multiple that we can spot here is 30 hence the lcm is 30 easy peasy but what if the numbers are really big and i don't want to list the multiples in that case go for the division method step 1 You have to first write the numbers separated by a comma. Step 2. Divide both numbers by the smallest prime number. Step 3. If any number is not divisible, then rewrite it and proceed further. Step 4. Continue dividing the row of numbers by prime numbers until you're left with ones in the complete row. Step five: the LCM is equal to the product of all the prime numbers obtained by the division method. Amazing! We are ready for the party now. Your explanation made math relatable and easy for me. This is the best birthday gift ever. Anna quickly learned both math concepts because she applied them to her real life application as it was easier to grasp. Check out our courses at Banzu to learn math the right way. A place where you don't just learn the concept but also relate it to your everyday lives. Check out the link provided in the description to know more about us and grab a free trial for your kids. Anna learned how to find LCM and HCF. But did you try and apply these concepts to solve the following problem? Anna has a dance class every second day and a painting class every third day. On which days will she have both classes? Which concept do you have to use? LCM or HCF? Let us know your answers in the comments below and we'll pin the first comment with the right answer. We also have a worksheet attached in the description. Solve it to track your progress on LCM. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Bye.